Welcome back to our little rock session and uh, today I'd like to introduce you to a basaltic anthracite from Kulut Volcano in Java, Indonesia. And it's a little bit more mafic than the andesite from Merapi I showed recently. It's nevertheless characterized by very similar minerals. We have pyroxene here, that's the dark specks, and we have plagioclase here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little better. Yeah. So here we go. Here's once more the pyroxene. And here, the felsic minerals. The uh, sample I've chosen is characterized by some large xenolith, which is of particular interest. And I'll show you one here. This is a gabbro type inclusion, uh, marked again by plagioclase and by pyroxene. Here's the plagioclase. Here the pyroxene. And uh, actually, a large number of oxides, magnetite and ilmenite. And this is also phase that's found in the ground mass of the basaltic andesite. Let's see whether we can go a little bit further. The odd olivine is found in there as well, actually. Here, for example. This particular xenolith is fractured. You see a fracture running here, which does not seem to continue in the basaltic andesite, so this fracture is uh, predating the incorporation into the lava, I would think. So, intriguingly, we have another xenolith here. Let's see if we can zoom into this area a little more. This one has a little more olivine, but also plagioclase and pyroxene and some oxides, and it's more weathered. It is less fresh, and you see there's some more brownish, greenish colors in there. So this one is not perfectly fresh, to my mind at least. And here it's a little bit more of the basaltic on the side. So, I think this was a reasonably good introduction to the rock type and uh, this particular rock comes from the 2008 dome at Kelut in 2007-2008 a new dome formed in the crater of Kelut and replaced the lava, uh, sorry, the crater lake there and after a few months the crater lake was completely gone and a rather impressive dome had developed. Uh, the dome stopped growing at some point and it was blown out of the crater during the 2014 eruption. So today this rock type is only present as lithic class in the 2014 pyroclastic eruption. But we sampled in uh, late 2008 and uh, this was during the time when the rock, when the dome was actually still active in terms of degassing and rock falls. So uh, this is reasonably interesting sample material as it's very hard to get at the present day. The plutonic xenolith, they come from the mid to slightly upper crust and uh, they represent solidified portions of the basaltic andesite magma, I would think. The uh, work we did on the barometry of the lavas and the inclusions was published and I will put it in the further details below. In case you're interested, you can follow up the link there and get to the original paper. So, thank you very much for your attention and uh, I hope to close with a last view onto the details here. Here we go. And in particular on the plutonic xenolith that I think is quite a beautiful specimen in itself. So, thank you for your attention, thanks for calling in again, and bye-bye, all the best.